ocean is that tears that I feel fill up with emotions. Could I taste them for real? Longing for you, longing for you. Oh, but I can't get back. What can I do? What can I do? When your dream is gone. Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another Sunday motivation. Let's get it all done together. We are gonna be doing all the things. I'm gonna be taking you guys to the kitchen. We're gonna clean up from breakfast. We're gonna take down all the St. Patrick's stuff. If y'all saw my um, Instagram post on St. Patrick's Day, it was pretty over the top and there are coins everywhere. So we gotta clean all that up. If you're new to my channel, please definitely hit the subscribe button. I'm pretty new to YouTube and I would just be so honored if you would join me on this journey. I do all things cooking, cleaning, and home decor. I try to share all kinds of special things for your kids and just to make your house a special place to host people in. So definitely hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning girl, it's so good to see you. Okay, so we're gonna do the kitchen then I'm gonna take you guys out into the front of our house. My kids did some painting so we gotta pressure wash that. I'm also going to be taking you to the backyard. We're gonna clean the chicken coop today. We're gonna be going to our local feed store. We're gonna be doing a grocery haul and an amazing cook with me recipe. We're gonna be doing a sweet and savory Cajun pork tenderloin wrapped in bacon with my favorite kale recipe. So definitely stick around, hit the like button if you are new and tell us in the comments where you're from and what you love about home decor. All right guys, let's get into this video. Every weekend I like to clean out the kids backpacks. I'll wash their backpacks maybe twice a month, but definitely every week I wash their lunch boxes. So I want to go through everything and get everything ready to go for Monday morning so it's not super hectic and I'm not trying to figure out where things are. So that is like one of my favorite hacks for Sundays is making sure I get everything set for Monday morning so it's super smooth to get four kids out the door. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens So the first thing I like to do at the beginning of the day is to get a load of laundry going and the dishes going. I will come back through here and cook lunch and dinner. So I always like to have the kitchen nice and clean. I noticed that last night's dish, which I will share with you guys, it's my Baja tacos with an amazing um, little slaw that goes with it made with Chipotle. I'll share that, but I need to get this kind of clean and reset for the day. And then I'm gonna head into the living room and clean up in there. just a friendly reminder don't forget to subscribe girl I would love to have you join my channel I was so excited 
excited, I ran to the front porch and there was a little delivery and it's a cup my best friend Laura made for me. I love you, girl. This is so sweet. We're planning a little trip in the next couple weeks together and this was just trying to get us excited. But I love this. This is you and me, girl, all the time. Just a glass of wine and a little tea. so nice to see the kitchen nice and put back together and clean. I'm going to head into the laundry room, do another load, get that nice and rotated. Then we're going to head out into the living room and clean up all of the stuff from St. Patrick's Day. Now that I'm done vacuuming, I need to put my order in for groceries and I will definitely share my haul with you guys in a couple minutes. Okay guys, so I put a sweater on, it's a bit chilly, but we're just kind of a mess. We had a big rainstorm come through, so I just wanna tighten this up just a little bit. Um, this is Teddy's birthday present. We're gonna be building with him. But let me take you down here. So last weekend, the kids did a big, um, they took like all our Amazon boxes and um, they did a blue and white little cat, it's a little cat castle thing. And there's paint all over the front walk. So I need to get my pressure washer out. And, and here's all Teddy's stuff. I may give this a wash so it's ready to go for his new um, sandbox. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle All the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff and trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm alone I got it, I got it
photos that you took But now it looks like acting Like we were fiction in a book Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know why you let me go Okay, so this picked up pretty much everything except you can see like you really can't but there's like a little bit of white paint still here i don't even know if that's from the kids this may be from the house getting painted but um but it looks so much better without all the paint on the stairs Pumpkin spice latte. Pop! Say hi! You say hi, Pumpy Pops! So cute! And that is buttercream. And that's Geo. And that's Coco Me. And then this is the chicken's little chicken run. We're gonna clean this up today. Is Blanca inside, Rio? Huh, Riri? Let's see, I bet you she's in here. She broods on eggs, even though we don't have. Oh, we have two brooders. Oh yeah. We're gonna clean the chicken coop today. So we're gonna clean your poops today. Huh? Huh, baby? Hi. Hi, babies. Blanca. That's Sauvignon Blanca. feels so good to get this chicken coop nice and clean please tell me in the comments down below if you have chickens what are their names I love having chickens you guys know that we're kind of in the city of our area we aren't like in the country country but it seems to work for us and we absolutely love our chickens they come in the house it's terrible you guys we treat them like house pets but um, usually my son does this but today was his first day having a play date in literally almost like a year so it was a very exciting day in our house household and I thought I would just go ahead and get this done and it just is kind of a nice thing to do get it knocked off the list and all cleaned up you okay Blanca here we come when I dance around I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we say Blanca. What's the matter, Blanky Blanks? Want your eggs back? Meow. Yeah. I know, they make you angry though. We try to keep the chickens rooting in the spring as much as possible because they get angry and sometimes they get a little aggressive. I mean, ours don't, 
but they can. So, one of the reasons I love this, I know you don't even have an egg. Hi, Blanca, hi. So what I love about this one is that we have three roosting bars. We have six chickens, um, and this fits them perfectly. Why don't you come out and have some lunch? Come on, Blanca. Come on, come have some lunch. Blanca, Blanca, Blanca. Come on. How about I get the food? I show you. Come in here. Blanca, want some? Come on. Blanca, that's for you. Go on, go and eat. Pull yourself out of there. I know, she's my nicest girl. But every spring we turn into a little stinker, don't we? All right, I'm gonna close this up. But this is nice, the thing I like about this. I'll link this down below for you guys. Um, I just got these at the dollar spot at Target. We hung these on here. And then it's got a total of three bays. Are you back in here, Blanca? Oh my God, you're just a nut. I know, I know. So it's got a total of three. What's up, Geo? Don't turn around like you weren't just yelling at me. Do your tricks. Um, so I have, again, three bars and then three roosting bays, which is nice even though they don't use it all the time. They kind of lay eggs wherever. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna clean out their water things and get their food thing put back together. I don't know what's going on down here. This kind of needs some love. Um, so I might bring some more bark in here and then I also want to clean these off and get, get everything nice and clean and tidy in here again. I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time so as I'm watching this, I kind of realize I don't explain what brooding is, but basically in the spring, what happens with our chickens is they will sit on their eggs to hatch them. It's, it's kind of amazing because they just do it naturally. They don't know why they do it, but what happens is they get really angry and territorial about their eggs. And about a year ago, we had a rooster and it was crazy. This is my son Jack's favorite chicken. His name was Buttercream. And Blanca was brooding on one of the eggs and randomly um, our chicken died like in the night. It was so crazy. And we let her brood this baby and that was buttercream that you guys met. It was the only chicken we've ever hatched and it was just such a crazy natural experience but I wanted to explain to you guys what, ha what I meant by the chickens get broody as they get really territorial about their eggs. And since we don't have a rooster anymore, there's really no sense in sitting on them. So we try to break them of the habit. That way they don't get a little angry or ever snip at one of the kids. Okay guys, so we're done in here. We're gonna get all new ground cover, hopefully delivered on Tuesday. We got the coop put back together, got their food. We are gonna go to the feed store and grab little watering cans. Well, hello, two in one bay. Are you embarrassed of yourself, Gio? Hmm? Crazy hands. Things nice and clean in here. We got this all cleaned up. And then over here, I moved these bins back here so you don't really see them when you walk in. And then I have our two rocking chairs and some of Ted's toys just stored in here while we clean up the other areas. Hi, pumpkin. What's up, pump? So this is our little chicken feed spot. <laughs> we're gonna go in here and we're gonna look at some things some good stuff here. I love this coop here. This is adorable. I think this is like a four to six chicken coop. Ours is six to nine, so they have a little more running space. Teddy, look at the baby ducks. You say hi? Hi. Hi, baby ducks. Hello. They're so cute. Hi. Look at their faces. Babies. All right, let's go look at the ducks and find some watering. 
Did you go to the, the bird, Teddy? I see baby chick, well hello. Well hello. Hello. Let's see. So these are just like the ones we have. That's kind of nice. They just drink right out of that. That's cool. These are cute, but they're for babies. Should we get a new one or should we just clean out the old ones? You want to try this one? Okay, so we're back home. This is the one we ended up going with. Um, my favorite gal at the feed store said this is what she uses and it'll keep it from getting all kind of nasty on the inside with that green. I don't even know what goes on there. Okay, let's take this outside and get it in the chicken coop. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Now, we're gonna do this one. Fill this up with water and then I'm gonna put it right over there. I also kind of like that it looks like a grain silo. It kind of goes with my whole farm farm vibe here. But let's get this filled up for the chicken. So we are officially done in here. This works so much better having one watering can. I also love how sturdy this is. Um, if you guys have any recommendations though, please definitely put them in the comments down below. So I've got clean food, all of this. I bet Blanca's back in her. In her... Oh yes, I'm in a bad mood today. I'm in a bad mood today, mama. But at least we got all of this clean. Okay guys, so this is basically what we eat in a week. I have um, lots of little things. So what I basically do is I'll put together all of the recipes I'll cook Monday through Friday. And then I will pick up things like our main. So I think I'm gonna be doing fish on Wednesday. I'll pick that up Wednesday when I go to um, pick the kids up from school. I'll swoop right into Whole Foods, grab that. Um, so I don't always pick up a stockpile of the main so like chicken steak whatever i might switch that out through the week so let's get into this so for vegetables i'm going to be doing um steak and potatoes one night so i got these fingerlings i really love using these i also love using these purple ones so if you can see in here i'm going to be doing a recipe for you guys that is kale potatoes with green apples and some old style mustard. So um, it's one of my favorite recipes, but I also, um, so that's why I got two of these. That way I have enough for the whole family. And then with these little tiny fingerlings, I'm going to just roast those on a sheet pan um, with some coarse salt for steak and potatoes. And then I also have some mini reds um, because I was getting low on those. I love to cook with potatoes. Got that. I got some corn. I'm going to be doing some Mexican street corn salad, which is basically this corn, a little bit of cilantro, some um, mayonnaise, and then let me see where it is. It is a Mexican style cheese. Cotija, this is like the most amazing cheese. You just crumble this up into the salad and then you put like a nice spicy Cajun sauce on top. I will make that for you guys as well. It's one of my favorite recipes, especially for summertime. A little bit of parsley we're gonna be using in two of our recipes this week. I picked up some extra bread for the kids' lunches. You know I go through about four of these a day. So just again to show you, two, four, six, eight. This is just one day of school. A kid comes home and wants a sandwich or two. This is a whole day of bread. So I usually keep four of these on hand at all times. I picked up 
one extra um, onion and a bunch of red onions. I was getting really low on those and shallots. I love cooking with shallots. I got some more sour cream. I don't know if it'll be at the beginning and end of this video, but I did post in this video my um, Baja tacos and we use the rest of our sour cream there. And then I'm gonna be doing a sweet pea salad for um, Easter, so that consists of sweet peas. I did sugar snap peas. I'm gonna actually be putting real peas inside and then using a little shaved radish for that salad with some goat cheese I already have in the refrigerator, so I didn't need to, to buy that. But And then I cook broccoli all week. I'm gonna be doing two broccoli recipes. One is just broccoli for the kids in the week. They love it, but also a broccoli salad that's like a slaw, so it has bacon, put pecans in it, mayonnaise and well it's like a sweet mayonnaise too it's got a little bit of sugar in it and then some um uh, cranberries it's super good i will do that cook with me as well but it's one of the recipes i have on the list for this week and then chopped kale that's what we're going to use for that um kale potato apple um saute that's so delicious i got some extra cheddar cheese and I have tons of apples. We use these almost every single day in the kids' lunches, so I definitely needed to pick up some more of those. And then I love these grab-and-go classic Caesars for work. I ordered the little bags, but for some reason, the gal brought these really large ones, which is the more the merrier. But I typically don't eat these giant bags. I get the little ones. And then I did one sweet kale. Okay, I needed more goldfish, so I got that. And then these are, you guys know, for my kids' lunches, I mix whatever their little snack is every day just to kind of keep them interested in lunch. So I got some more of these. I was craving these the other day at work, so I bought those for myself because I'm super healthy like that. I needed more garbage bags. And then my, um, I love this. It is uh, watermelon, sparkling water. And then I got three more of the granolas. I really needed those for the kids. Um, we go through about three bags, sorry. We go through about three bags of that a, month, uh, a week. And then I got a bunch of Capri Suns. These are the little grab and go cliff bars I put especially on days when the kids have PE, which is twice a week. And then I did applesauce, two boxes of those. I'll go through that in a week. And then two chicken broths just because I'm low on that. I don't know if I have that in any recipes, but I just always want to have it on hand. And then this is the mustard we're going to use for that recipe. And um, you can also get this super cheap at Trader Joe's. I don't know. I don't know this brand, but it looks delicious. I did two things of eggs. I'm gonna be doing four deviled eggs, four ways for you guys. It's um, a traditional style jalapeno, curry, and truffle. And I, it is the most amazing little egg thing, and especially if you're having people over, it's a really fun way to um, kind of just mix up regular old deviled eggs. So I did two of those. And then I needed, you guys know this is my favorite glass cleaner. I was just getting low, so I got one more of those and a little more shaving cream because Teddy was using ours in the shower to play with. So I need to restock. Gonna do some more peanut butter, a little bit more jelly. I got two things of plain cream cheese because I'm gonna be doing those, a little cook with me with salmon and dill and cucumber for Easter. So I wanted to show you that. I needed to pick up, oh, and I got some more peas. I'll put those over here. Whoa. Okay, so the other thing I needed was some, some herbs, and I got these chives. I got some fresh dill, which I love cooking with, and I got some fresh mint. We're going to be doing a mint gramolata for our lamb, rack of lamb. I love doing this, so we will bread this. This is this is called Frenched, but basically it's where they leave the bone in and all the fat. We will cover this with breadcrumbs, garlic, and a like a mix of seasonings I'll share with you guys in a cook with me. And then you bake that, and it's so crunchy and breaded. And then you cut these up, and it's just like the most delicious. And then we'll make a, a, a mint gramolata, which is basically just like mint ground up with olive oil and it's just super yummy. Um, I was a little low on taco seasoning because we had taco night last week. I ordered I ordered carrots with the green stems on them, the really tiny ones, and I ordered two bunches of them, but this is what came, so now I'm gonna have to look up a recipe that uses a ton of carrots because I didn't need this. Um, I wanna show you guys a really great recipe also for Easter where you roast the carrots, but these are way too big for that recipe. These are like stew carrots. 
but there's no problem. My kids will eat them, I'll eat them, and I'll find a good recipe for them. The other recipe we're gonna be doing this week is Cajun um, pork tenderloin. So what you do with this is wrap this in bacon and sear it in the skillet. You guys know I love to cook with my cast iron skillet. And then with the bacon, and then you cook it and you rub Cajun. Then you'll add the Cajun seasoning and it's kind of like this really delicious mouthwatering Cajun dish, which is gonna be really fun. And then these are my absolute favorite cheeses in the world. This is the Cowgirl Creamery Mount Tam. You can pretty much get this anywhere, but it's a triple cream brie. And it is just, I don't know what it is about this cheese. My favorite thing on earth is to take this cheese with regular classic Lay's potato chips. And I might have that tonight since we don't have work tomorrow. I might just enjoy a little cheese plate with this. But if you're looking for an awesome cheese pairing, this is the best. And then this is an oval recindry, which is a cheese that's a brie style. It actually is coated in ash and it's from the Loire Valley. And what I love about this cheese is, first off, it's amazing, but it has a really, really, really... Um, it's a complex flavor, but it's very nutty and it goes phenomenal with rosé and Sauvignon Blanc And because it's starting to get a little bit warmer here. I really like to have this cheese It only comes out like maybe four times a year and whenever I see it I grab it up It's my favorite so definitely take a screenshot of that if you're looking for an amazing cheese It goes well with wine. This is my definite go-to pair right here. So so I got those I picked up some avocados. We're gonna be using cucumbers in the kids' lunch this week and for a recipe, so I got two of those, and I got three avocados. Teddy loves avocados, so I always keep those on hand for him. And, oh, I forgot this. Puff pastry, so I'm gonna be doing a puff pastry with asparagus in it, so it's got what do I put on it? I put um, gorgonzola cheese and then, you use, well, I'll probably do Gruyere actually. I'll probably do a Gruyere cheese with this one for Easter and then you put all the asparagus on top and then you bake that and it's so crunchy and delicious. I love working with puff pastry, it's so yummy. Okay, so then over here I got some quick and simple shredded hash browns. I'm gonna be doing those really fun little Easter, um, I'm sure you guys have seen them, but they're basically like little nests, robin nests with the egg inside and bacon sprinkled on top with cheddar. I do it every year for Easter and I'm just gonna show you guys how I prep that. And then I don't usually buy this much of the white shells from Annie's, but they had a buy 12, get $3 off and they were 99 cents and they're usually $1.19. So I was definitely like, oh, I'm getting as much of that as I can because it's never on sale. And then because I did my Baja tacos, I ran out of vegetable oil, so I like to keep that on hand. Two gallons of milk, just two gallons of milk because we go through about that in a week. But that is all we have for this week. And I'm gonna get this stuff tucked into the refrigerator and then we're gonna go ahead and start making our protein balls for the week. This is a super easy recipe. I have not added this to my website yet, but I will. As soon as I have the link, I'll put it down below. But basically, you're gonna rub some Cajun seasoning on here, get it nice and massaged into the meat, um, preheat your oven to about 400, and then what we're gonna do is wrap this with some bacon. Now, the bacon I'm using is a maple bourbon thick cut bacon. It doesn't matter if you don't have that at your store, no problem, but I chose that because this is gonna be a sweet and savory. We're actually gonna cook this down and then I'm gonna be adding and you can either use um, peach or I know apricot is pretty prominent in grocery stores but I had a peach with me and it's a little peach and some like regular mustard and we're gonna be putting that on top to caramelize it so we're gonna get kind of some spicy from the Cajun sauce and we're gonna get a little sweet from the jam so once you have that all rolled up, you're gonna heat up a cast iron skillet because we are gonna add this to the oven. I'm gonna just cook this in all four sides and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes to finish it. While that's cooking, we're gonna be also making our um, kale, it's kind of like a sauteed kale recipe and we're also gonna be making our protein balls for the week. I kind of like to get all my cooking done in the kitchen at once. But while that's all cooking, we are going to prep, I'm gonna use these purple potatoes. I was kind of bummed because they aren't purple, but they usually are. 
and then about one uh, green Granny Smith apple and then some red onion and prep that and throw it to the side while we cook our pork. let this sear up for about 15 minutes then we're gonna flip it then we'll put it into the oven this is everything prepped for our kale dish Let's see if I can zoom in here this is everything we've got potatoes so it's funny these always come out purple and for some reason this batch has like a little bit of purple and then I've got our green apples skin on you guys are gonna love this recipe and then we just sprinkle these throughout. This is more uh, onion than I actually need for the recipe, but I can use that in our um, breakfast tomorrow. So over here, while that's cooking, I am gonna make protein balls. I'm super excited to make this for you guys. So this is protein, these are little, they're like little, I don't know how to explain it, like oat balls with uh, a little bit of chocolate and peanut butter. So this is super easy to make. It's one cup of rolled, old fashioned rolled oats, one half cup of flaxseed, three, two thirds cup of, I use crunchy, but you can use any, but I use this um, like all natural peanut butter. It's just way better. And then a half a cup, or you know, depending on how much you want, but I use a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate. And then you know what else we need? I need to grab my honey because we're gonna need some honey as well. So what we're gonna do is mix that all in this bowl and then I'll show you how I put the little balls together and then I put those in a little grab and go for the kids but we eat these pretty much every morning after working out. Now, it may not even be the healthiest thing but they're just so good and I'm like not a big sweets person in the morning so I love that it's um, pretty a pretty savory little bite. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna finish these balls. I just wanna tell you a tip. If you end up putting them together and they're not sticky enough, add a little extra honey and peanut butter and it'll do the trick. That way you don't waste any of the oats. I'm also gonna flip our tenderloin and then while that's cooking, I'm gonna put away some of the dishes that we had going earlier. And then I actually got a couple packages that showed up early from Amazon and I thought I'd just share with you a couple of the things that I ordered. By the lakeside, gonna do it while we're young. In a moment, it will all be gone. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. You, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I, I, I wanna drive through the summer night, and we'll. 
I wanted to order some new shoes. My nine-year-old actually ended up taking my Puma black shoes that you guys all love. He loves them, so I let him have them, and I needed to order some new ones. I am going to reorder these. They're adorable. I will link them down below, but they were just a little bit. They run a little small. I'm a seven, and they were too small on me. The other thing I picked up was some decor for Teddy's construction birthday party and this amazing bum bum cream. I am going to be going to the beach soon, so I need to get all my things put back together, but I absolutely thought those shoes were adorable. And then this is the shampoo and conditioner I absolutely love. It's a Moroccan oil, the hydrate, and then and that's my favorite um, tanning oil. If you guys haven't tried it, I'll link it down below. It's amazing. So to prep our kale dish, I'm gonna actually sear up the potatoes first. I'm gonna pull those out of the pan and then I will do the um, apples and the onions together. But while that's cooking, I'm gonna make the stuff to go on top of our pork tenderloin. So I'm gonna be using this peach jam and then some Dijon mustard, but the whole seed Dijon mustard is the best way to do it. And then we're gonna add that to the top of our pork, let that cook for like another two minutes and then pull it out. One of the reasons I love these two recipes together is they both call for similar um, ingredients. So this has mustard in it and then our kale dish will also have mustard in it as well. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again Once you get everything pretty well cooked, but still crunchy, like you don't want to cook it down too much, add a little bit of your raw mustard. And I like to use a little bit of vinegar in here. I think it really brightens up some of the sweetness from the apple. And then just a little bit of water. What I like to do is put the kale on top, add a little bit of water to it so the steam from the the uh, water will start to kind of boil up and then it will naturally wilt down the kale. I like my kale pretty al dente, so I don't cook it down too much, but right when it starts to get that beautiful bright green, I'm gonna throw my potatoes back in and then we'll be ready to get dinner on the table. If I had an option to be someone else, I would. And like all of you. This is one of the most incredible recipes I think I've ever made. It was so crunchy and it was like candied and delicious. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I hope you guys had fun with me today for our Sunday motivation, get it all done. I am just beyond, beyond excited for you guys to try this recipe. If you do, definitely tag me at Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson so I can see it as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm.